Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Tara Smith's Kitchen. I am Tara Smith and I'm going to be making jambalaya today. I'm going to start off, I've got three and a quarter cups of water in that back pot that's heating up. I want to put some bouillon in there. Probably better than bouillon, but I'm putting bouillon in there. And I'm going to put about oh, two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use whatever oil you have in the bottom of this pot here in the front. And we're going to start off by browning our sausage. I've already cut all this stuff up. So we're just going to brown it real good and then we're going to put it in another dish and we're going to cook our chicken. You're supposed to use the andouille sausage, which is used in seemingly every Cajun dish that requires that you use sausage, but today I'm using uh, Chapel Hill smoked garlic sausage that I got from HEB because, well, I live in Texas and we tend to shop at HEB here and I need to go ahead and use it up. So I am going to be using Chapel Hill smoked garlic sausage instead of andouille sausage. And feel free if you have some kind of sausage you need to get rid of and it's not the andouille, use it. It's not a problem. Okay, now I'm going to remove the sausage. As long as you got most of it pretty well brown, you're good. We'll leave all these drippings in there because then we're going to put our chicken in these drippings and we are going to start cooking our chicken. I think these turned out nicely. Now the seasoning that I made up here is a tablespoon of onion powder and it's a tablespoon of garlic powder a tablespoon of paprika, which I'm always using Hungarian paprika, a teaspoon of um, white ground pepper, and it is a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm probably going to use about half of that on the chicken here that I've cut up. I've got boneless skinless chicken breast and not breast boneless <laughs> skinless chicken thighs you can use breast but I think the thighs have better flavor especially when you're making soups or you're making something like jambalaya the thighs are really the cut of meat that you're really looking for Be careful that you don't pop yourself with it and you don't have to cut it up in the smaller chunks as I did. I just felt like cutting it up smaller, sort of bite-sized pieces and we're going to cook the chicken and then we are going to set it to the side with our sausage. And like I said, leave the drippings in there from the sausage with the olive oil and we're going to cook the chicken in the drippings. If I forgot to mention that, that's about two and a half pounds of chicken. I was looking for closer to two pounds, but two and a half was as close as I could get. I think it was actually like 2.47, what have you. You're buying chicken at the store, it's already packaged up, so... You got wiggle room. It's not a big deal. We're just going to have more chicken. Now that our water is boiling back there, I'm going to put about three heaping teaspoons of better than bouillon, the made with seasoned roasted chicken. It's the chicken base. You can use chicken bouillon cubes, um, you can use the powder, 
I just kind of like using the um, butter than bouillon. Just, I like this stuff. Ah. I'm making a mess. Also, turn that pot of water in the back off. You don't need it boiling anymore. You just want it good and hot for our stuff that's going to come up here in a minute. Now that our chicken is done, we're going to take it out. Um, I'm putting it back in this bowl that I just washed. Because I don't have that many bowls. And we're going to leave all of this liquid, the drippings and everything, in the bottom of this pot. Because that is flavor. And you do not want to get rid of that. And any pieces you drop, those are the dogs. Okay, for the next act, I have one bell pepper, one large sweet onion, I've got four sticks of celery, I've got three smashed up garlic cloves, all in here, and um, once again, be careful that you don't pop yourself with the grease, but we are going to cook this down until the onions and stuff start turning translucent. And we are going to cook that in all the wonderful juices that we have going right here. And we're going to add some more stuff to it. After a couple of minutes, take the rest of your seasoning that you use to season the chicken with. And go ahead and add that to your vegetables. And mix that in a little bit. Now that we've got the vegetables sauteed down, we're going to add two cups of rice. I'm just using regular old long grain rice. And we're going to mix that in. And we're going to kind of toast it a little bit before we add the broth or base, whatever you want to call it in the back there, back to the pot. And this would be a good time to go ahead and start heating that back up again. Shouldn't take long. It's still warm. It's just so you're not adding cold water to the pot. You know, kind of like when you're cooking beans, you want to have a pot of hot water next to it you know you got another pot of boiling water for adding to your beans you don't want to add cold water to just about anything you want to make sure you keep stirring this because you just want to toast it a little you don't want to burn it and you could burn it real easy on the bottom of the pot You don't want to do that too long. Like I said, it's really easy to burn it. Um, then we're going to add this base. Stock, whatever you want to call it. To the pot. And <laughs> it's already boiling. Which helps out a lot. Mix that in really, really good. And we're going to let this boil for just a second. While it's boiling, I'm going to put a little bit more water in that back pot. And that's in case we need to add some more. And we're going to get it boiling. After like a minute or two here, <laughs> I'm going to add our chicken back to the pot. And we're also going to add our sausage back to the pot. And 
And we're going to turn the heat down low and cover the pot. And at this point, we're cooking rice. So it's just cooking rice. You are going to want to occasionally stir this and you know, check and make sure you don't need to add any water to it. And um, I've probably added half of the water in that pot back there to what we had already in the pot. And so far, so good. I also added a little bit more bouillon to that water. That way I don't water it down, you know. Now our jambalaya is done, and I've plated some up over here, so you can see what it looks like. You can add shrimp to it, you can add all kinds of stuff to it. You can make it a little bit darker, you can toast it a little bit longer, you can add more of the seasoning to it, like you can make some more seasoning. You can use Tony Satchery's instead of making your own Cajun seasoning. There's all kinds of things you can do, but this is what I did, and I know some of you watching uh, require that I do a taste test, so here we go. And it tastes wonderful. You can up the amount of cayenne pepper, and you can make it a little spicier. Um, it's not really spicy. Uh, to me, it doesn't have any heat at all whatsoever. I like things a lot hotter, <laughs> and I live with someone who does not. So, I tend to not make things very spicy. So, if you're worried about that, no, this one is not spicy. Um, it turned out really, really good. So, thank you so much for watching my video I should be putting another one out pretty soon and I do have a patreon if you would like to support my channel and I will list that in the description until the next video I will catch you later thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.